the waves down there in South Beach. There he is. Chris Haynes joins us covering everything Celtics and Heat. So, Chris, starting off here, I got to know the status update because we see that Marcus Smart's going to give it a go and Al Horford. And give us the update on Derek White. What's going on with the seeds? Well, Derek White will be out for tonight for the Boston Celtics. He's expecting a, a child today. And Marcus Smart is a full go, and Al Horford is a full go. Now, his situation has been somewhat crazy over the last couple of days. He tested positive on game day, which was Tuesday. And then sources told me he actually tested negative once yesterday, and he tested negative twice today which allowed him to be cleared out of that health and safety protocol. So he, he's a full go. He's actually out here working out. He's looking good. I've watched him over the last 10, 15 minutes. So the Celtics feel pretty good about going into tonight's game. So now it's all about adjustments from here. Those adjustments are important. Speaking of adjustments, we know in that third quarter it was ugly if you're talking about the Boston Celtics, that Miami Heat team. They went on that 39-14 run in the third quarter, forced those turnovers by Jason Tatum, who had a career high in that department. What type of adjustments are the Celtics looking to make to prevent that from happening in this game? Well, there are a couple defensive adjustments that Ime Doka said he's going to implement tonight. He's talking about drop back defense, he's talking about the bigs off of the picks. Felt like they gave up too many open shots, particularly to Tyler Hero. But the one consistent, when I talk to the coaches, staff, and when I talk to players, the one consistent is just playing with toughness. The Miami Heat like to crash offensive boards. They like to bang. And they felt in that third quarter, they didn't do enough to get that game. And, you know, you look at that that game one, the third quarter, that was the only quarter that the Celtics were outscored. But it was also the quarter that the Miami Heat imposed their will. And that's something the Miami Heat have been doing all playoff long, crashing boards, getting to the 50-50 balls. So Coach Ime Doka feels like if they're going to have any chance tonight to leave here with a split, they got to play with some toughness, and that's why it's very important and imperative that Marcus Smart is out here on the court along with Al Horford. Speaking of toughness, we know Jimmy Butler is as tough as they come. He's been on fire during these playoffs. Another 40-point performance, huge, especially in that third quarter, generating steals and having 27 points in the second half. What's been the secret to Jimmy Butler and why he's had so much success in the playoffs? Look, man, people that I've talked to uh, around Jimmy Butler that's been hanging around Jimmy Butler or that's family members, teammates, is that he's been just awfully quiet throughout this playoff run. Like, he is, his mindset is focused. Um, he's engaged in the game, but he's not going out talking a lot. You know, he's, he's sticking with the script and just producing on the court. And his teammates in the, in the organization, they see that, and they can't help but to follow suit. So Jimmy Butler's just playing out of his world. You know, he's always, he's told me, he's always felt like he was one of the top players and he felt like he didn't get recognition for it. And he felt like his game wasn't flashy enough to get that recognition. But now with four teams left, I think people are having a newfound appreciation for the game and what Jimmy Butler brings uh, to the game of basketball. And we're seeing them flourish right now. And on the other end, Boston Celtics, Marcus Smart being a full go, that's the matchup that's going to be most intriguing to see if Marcus Smart can slow down Jimmy Butler, the defensive player of the year going against the hottest offensive player in these playoffs. Well, Chris, your game is always flashy, but you always deliver the substance along with it, and you always stick to the script, man. Appreciate the knowledge. We'll talk to you soon. Appreciate you, brother. Dom, what's up? Hey, what's up, brothers? I'm in Miami. I'm chilling. I'm good. <laughs>